Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Brooke Goldner from Goodbye Lupus, and I want to talk to you today about the coronavirus. And what I'm going to teach you is what it is and where it comes from, what the symptoms are, and what you can do to protect yourself and accelerate your own immune system's ability to fight it off or heal from it if you already have it. So the coronavirus is a type of virus that actually comes from animals. Now, normally it can be, there's versions that happen in people and versions that happen in animals, but rarely a virus will emerge that can cross over from species like the SARS virus or swine flu from the past. And the reason that this tends to happen is usually because of factory farming. We get a lot of animals in a small confined space, they get sick, and one of these virus, viruses that they are sick with can then contaminate the workers or other people who are exposed to those products. So we know that this came from animal industry out there in China. So what do we do about it now? Well, one, you wanna be aware of symptoms. Symptoms are really just cold symptoms, runny nose, sneezing, coughing, fevers. If you have any of those symptoms, it might be that you have a normal flu. It could be that you have the coronavirus. Either way, make sure that you stay home and don't infect other people out in the public. Now, in severe cases, there can be difficulty breathing. So the reason that you would leave your house if you have these symptoms would be to seek medical care if these symptoms are severe. Now, in terms of treatment, we don't really have one yet. We do not have a vaccine or an antiviral medicine yet that is specific to the coronavirus. So all we can do really is treat the symptoms or if you have severe breathing issues, you might have to go to the hospital in order to support your own breathing. So how do you protect yourself? Because that's really going to be priority number one is to protect yourself. Well, as I said, if you already have symptoms, you protect others. That's your job. If you have symptoms, you stay home unless you're going to the doctor. And if you need to be in contact with people for any reason, you're gonna to wanna to wear one of those face masks, okay? Uh, now, if you are not contaminated or not sick, you do not need those face masks. Those are for people who are sick to stop contamination. Now, if you are coughing or sneezing for any reason, Make sure that you, if possible, cough or sneeze into a tissue and then throw that into a lined trash can right away and then wash your hands for 20 seconds or with soap or use a hand sanitizer. If you do not have any kind of tissues around, then that's when you would use your elbow, uh, but if possible, do it into a tissue. Now, in general, for people trying not to get this illness, what you want to do really to protect yourself is keep your hands clean. That is the best way to protect yourself because normally the viruses are living on surfaces and we touch things and then we put it into our eyes or into our nose and we put it into our bodies that way. So by keeping your hands clean and by avoiding touching your face, you can help yourself stay healthy and have a better chance of protecting yourself. Now clean your hands often, more than you normally would. Every time you come home from a public place, come home and wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds, ha carry hand sanitizer with you, and make sure people coming into your house wash their hands. All right, that's going to be really important. Uh, anytime that you can avoid touching a doorknob in public places, avoid doing so. Use a tissue or a napkin, use your elbow, use your foot to try to keep your, to open the door. If you have to use your hand, make sure you directly use either hand sanitizer or you go ahead and wash your hands. A lot of places are out of hand sanitizer now, so you're gonna have to find a bathroom or a sink and wash your hands. So I have a whole list. I wanna make sure I don't miss anything. Um, Make sure that you're disinfecting surfaces around your house that are high touch areas. You can buy disinfectants that are more likely to keep things clean like Lysol and other products like that that are going to keep uh, viruses and bacteria uh, from being able to stay on those surfaces for a long time. And those are the major issues right now. Um, Again, for anybody who's sick, really try to avoid being around anyone else. If you have someone in your home right now that's coughing or sneezing, hey, maybe they have the common cold, but either way, keep them in a room isolated from everybody else. Uh, make sure that if they have to emerge that they're wearing a mask, make sure they're not touching any plates or cups or forks or anything that somebody else is. Everything they use gets washed up really quickly. Now, one of the most important things you can do to protect yourself is actually going to strengthen your immune system, right? So make sure you stay clean, wash your hands, but also make sure your immune system is functioning properly. The best way to keep your immune system optimally functioning is by feeding yourself the right nutrition. And that's what I'm known for is in improving people's immune systems, reversing diseases like lupus and other autoimmune diseases using nutrition. Well, those same ways that you can reverse diseases like autoimmune disease can also optimize your 
ability to fight disease and to avoid being infected with things or heal from infections very rapidly. I have people on my program for lupus who then find if they get a cold, they're better in 24 hours rather than a week or two. So it's a very important thing you can do. So what do you do? Well, make sure that one, you're getting enough hydration. Water is essential for your immune system to properly function. So go past that 64 ounces a day. Try to get 96 ounces or even up to a gallon a day if you weigh more than 120 pounds to help flush your system, keep toxins out, keep your immune system working well. Uh, also make sure you're eating leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables, which can nourish your body with the highest levels of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals to fight infection and keep you strong and healthy. All right. And to get inflammation down and heal faster, omega-3s like chia seeds and flax seeds. And the best way to do all of that, if you're going, oh my God, how am I going to drink that water? How am I going to eat all this food? Green smoothies. I have free recipes at smoothieshred.com free to the public. You just go there, click on the free recipes, and you can make a green smoothie. And you finish that by the end of the day, you will have a lot of hydration from water and you will have your nutrients from your omega-3s and your leafy greens. And you just put a straw in it and enjoy it and drink that down by the end of the day. Do that for you. Do that for your kids, for your family to keep them as healthy as possible. You also want to avoid things that can cause inflammation, processed foods, excess dairy meats, things like that, that can stimulate inflammation in the body. And I teach all of this information for free online in detail as a public service. Everything that's been in my best-selling books like Goodbye Lupus, everything I use to help people heal naturally from chronic disease, I teach it for free in online classes as a public service. So at the time of this video, I have them going on right now for another week. And then after that, I usually come in about once a month to teach the classes for free and do live Q and A's to make sure I answer all of your questions. Because you know what? Having had lupus myself for 12 years of my life and dealing with kidney failure and blood clots and all of the things that came with it, chronic pain, now that I've been healthy for 15 years just by changing my diet, all I can ever obsess about <laughs> is helping the public learn how to nourish themselves properly, to heal their bodies and to avoid getting sick so that everybody can feel as good as I feel. So I hope these tips have helped you. Please share them, share them out in the community. Everybody needs to learn these tips to get healthy. I hope it helped you. And if you want more information, I hope I see you at my next live classes or Q&A.